Hi, my name is Linda Melvin and we are going to do something a little different now. Before I have used 140 pound paper and I've used 300 pound paper of Arches paper and we're going to change and we're going to do Yupo paper. Yupo paper is a slick paper. It's slick on both sides, you can use either side and it reacts entirely different to paint, paint of all kinds. But we're going to use the Delusion sprays and we're going to use the Hydrus paints and we're going to use the Radiance. So uh, when we do these, sometimes they turn out like this. This is one, it has a very nice undersea look to it. And you never know what you're gonna get. In this one, it has quite a few of the uh, little dots in it and it does its own thing. Also, this is another one. And it is that way too. And even after you use the paper and you think it's done, what happens is it completely changes when you come back or you can work with it and sit for long periods of time and just watch it and help it change the way you want it to. But if you go and you do a one and you're not necessarily happy with what happened with it, but you like a certain part, you can come in and make cards with them. And the cards are such fun to put together. So I'm going to show you now what we have to do to get to this point. So again, you know how much I love water. This is watercolors. That's what I do the most of the time. And there's two ways to do it. Right now I'm going to do it with the water. But you can also do it so that it's dry and put water on later. So I'm going to spray with the Delusions sprays. And look at how different. Because what it does is it just stays right on top of the paper. It doesn't soak in like the other. And you'll see there's little white dots. And you don't know if you're going to get them or not. Okay, so now I watch it and I have my eyedropper. We know I always like the eyedroppers. They can help to move. But also... you can guide with a um, straw. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put some darker colors in. You can take it off just like we could with the others. But look how it flows. Nothing stops it. It just goes. You don't know how it's gonna go, but you can address it by doing different things, by pushing down and pushing down on the edges. And you can enhance these also, although I have to say they aren't quite as easy to do as the others. So if we want to enhance them, which I'll show later, we'll come in and we will spray it first. So let's put some other pretty colors in. And then this time I'm going to introduce something I haven't introduced before with this and all the colors that I've been doing. I haven't used any of the Bombay inks, so we're going to use a Bombay ink today. And look at what happens. Now Bombay inks, if you put something over them, they're not going to move again. But if you just come in and work with them this way and it's very wet, they move in great ways. And they're lots of fun. And you know, I, I love to have fun. Okay, let's put one more. I know you're thinking, it's good, leave it alone. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do that. But look what's happening. It's moving. So let's say I just wanted to move it a little bit more. But I didn't want to use that great big sprayer of mine. Remember, let's be careful not to spray it in our face. Oh, and over here, look at that, how it's moving. By pushing down, you're going to address it. You can push over here. You don't get much happening except for coming in from the side. Oh, I love that. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Now, it's going back out again. Maybe it's where I have it placed on here. So maybe I'll move it over. You have to be very careful, though, 
not to do too much moving because it definitely will go in a hurry. You can even take your straw and you can mix things around a little bit to change the way things look. So maybe I'll pull it one more time this way. I don't have much down here with the blues, but do I really care? I have a lot with blues down there. I don't really care. I do love this teal color in here though. So let's see if we can't bring it around. You want to be careful. <sighs> Look at that. Now what do you think that was that I just sprayed on that changed everything? I sprayed alcohol. Now because it's alcohol, it's not going to move as much as it. So maybe I can come in with some more of water with my little spritzer. I have to be careful. There are two little ones I'm going to have to put one in and notice that it is alcohol and one is water. But now look, because we have all these little dots, now everything is moving in between. And we are getting more texture and we are creating more interest. So if I want to, I can come in and I can pull this off the corners, which even creates more. So this is just kind of a beginning of what you can do with Yupo paper. There are so many things that we can do. And we can do rice papers and we can do um, saran wrap. And we'll cover other ones with it later on. And a lot of times people use Yupo paper and they use alcohol inks. But the alcohol inks stay where you put them and you have to have something to make them to move where these move on their own and do their own thing and give you a surprise when you come back. So I hope you take time to do this today and by all means make the day a masterpiece. Thanks so much.